Hey everyone, I thought I'd do a video today on uh, returning the front grille back to black before fitting. Um, I've decided to upgrade to the three bar facelift grille. Um, I don't know if you can see very well, but this it's in quite a rough shape. It's got quite a lot of dirt and it's gone quite faded. Um, we're gonna get this back to black. I'm gonna show you the steps of how to do it. So this is it before. It's quite gray and it's got a few marks and it just looks a bit now. So I'm going to show you how to go from this using just these items now. You need some, some gloves just to protect your hands, a small brush to get in the hard to reach areas, a couple of cloths, one for wiping off with the panel wipe and one for wiping off once you put the sealant on. Now this is the C5 wheel armor which is also good for trim. You can buy the trim one uh, but it's exactly the same product just in a different bottle. Okay let's get to it. So first comes on the list is the panel wipes. You want to basically try and get out all of that dirt that's in the hard to reach areas and there's also some some build up of some dirt and whatnot everywhere so if you can get give it a good kind of panel wipe wipe it get the brush in the hard to reach areas and then you'll be ready to put the coating on right so just Right, so that's the first step complete. Now the reason we panel wipe is to get off any dirt, grime, or anything left behind, oils, or anything that may stop the coating adhering as good as it can do, which means it will last longer if we give it a panel wipe and you'll get better results, which at the end of the day is what we want. Now this already looks better than it was before. As you can see, all the, the dirt and the dust has come out. Um, I'll just leave it for a little while just to dry, just in case it's not quite dry anywhere. Even in the back there look much better already. Now this is a lot easier to do off the car. This is off the car because obviously it might come with a, I think it's a nine slack grill, the original pre-facelift one, and this is a facelift grill. Um, so I'm gonna do it off before I put it on because it's a lot easier and I can do it on this nice little table here. So I'm just gonna pop this to dry for a little while and then I'll come back to you with the next step. Right, so on to stage two, which is using the G Technique Trim Restorer, uh, C4 or C5. We can use any trim restorer, which is like a permanent coating um, for this. Now, so what you've got to do is you take this lint-free applicator, put a few drips on, get it nice and wet, and then just simply rub it, making sure you get all in all the areas, and you do that for the whole grill. Once complete, get your other microfiber cloth, which is nice and clean, and just wipe off the excess. And it does recommend to leave it in a clean, dry place for 12 hours where possible. I mean, if it's on the car, maybe, then it's likely to rain cover it, um, just so it doesn't get wet. So now we'll come back to you once I've done a 50-50, just to give you a sort of a little uh, sneak peek of what it might look like. Right, so here's a little 50-50 just as we're going along. So this is the original gray. Moving on to the coated black. You can see there's quite a substantial difference. This grill wasn't super faded as it's quite a smooth plastic whereas the original sort of nine bar grill is a lot more noticeable it goes a lot lighter in color let's zoom in a little bit there you go you see the difference between the new and the old it's quite a bit we'll do the whole grill and then i'll get another shot of it for you guys as you can see it looks a lot better a lot darker black already versus the sort of gray gray black. There we go. Let's get it finished off. Okay, so with this grill you might have to do a few applications just to get into all the little nooks and crannies. As you can see there's quite a few little slats and it's quite easy to miss in here or against one of these edges of the bars and whatnot. So just uh, take your time. Don't worry, there's no rush. Um, you can do a bit, wipe it off, do a bit more, it's not a problem. Um, and that's, uh, yeah, just a bit of form, just to show you how it's done there, guys. If you can as well, be systematical. Um, start at the top, work your way down, or vice versa. 
That way you're less likely to miss any. So that you can always come back and do some more if you want. Because the last thing you want to do is do it all, put it on the car, then realise you missed a bit and you've got to do it again. So what I'll do, there you go, that's it all coated once. I'll have a quick look, just make sure I've got everything. As you can see, that really looks 10 times better than what it was before. And also, you'll have some added water repellency, so make it easier to clean in the future and keep it looking nice and blank. Um, I'm just gonna go back over it, just make sure I haven't missed any bits, and then I'll uh, give you a final walk around it. And there you have it, the completed item. So it's all complete. All coated, ready to go on the car. Nice and back to its original black shine. No dirt, ready to be fitted. Um, if you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe and like. Please leave a comment if you've got anything you'd like to add or anything you'd like to know. I'll be more than happy to answer it. And above, you'll see a link pop up in a moment just to go to the fitting guide. What I'll do is in the next video, I'll give you a quick run through of how to remove the bumper enough to fit this, fit the grill, and then putting it back and seeing what it looks like. Thanks for watching guys.